Hi everyone, I am your Soma ma'am and today's video you will watch the point wise story of the lesson The Enemy. Here you will in this video you will get the whole story in point file. Okay, you are watching Matchless Mentor and this is the author of the story Pearl S. Buck. She earned a Pulitzer Prize in 1932 and she for the book, for the novel the good earth she won a novel prize for literature in 1938 she continued to write prolifically thereafter choosing china as the setting for the majority of her work pearl was active in humanitarian efforts to protect asian americans against racial intolerance by increasing awareness and she was a beautiful lady now I am your Soma ma'am, you are watching Matchless Mentor and in this video you will get the story The Enemy in point form. Now here goes the story like this. This story is set at the time of the Second World War. It is a heart-rending portrayal of the conflict between man's head and hurt. Now these are the important characters which you will come across in the story. Dr. Sadao, who is an accomplished surgeon. Hana, Sadao's wife, who helps her husband in the operation. Tom, an American prisoner of war. General Takima, a selfish and cruel man. And servants, Yumi, old gardener and cook. Now here goes the story like this. An American sailor is washed ashore in a dying state and is found at the doorstep of a very eminent Japanese surgeon and scientist Dr. Sadao Hoki. Sadao is torn between his duty as a doctor and as a patriot. His heart is telling him to save the prisoner while his mind is telling to turn him over to the police. It is difficult choice to decide whether one should allow oneself to be governed by emotion or by reason. Now this was like the uh, theme of the whole story. Now this you can imagine, this picture you can imagine as Dr. Sadao's father who was very serious and traditional man. He never joked or played with him but took infinite pains for his son. Now Sadao's education was his father's chief concern and had sent Sadao to America to complete his studies. Sadao's father inculcated in him the values of patriotism and national loyalty. He was a Japanese to the core and would never in his own home sit on a chair or sleep on a foreign bed. Now this is Sadao and Hana as you can see in the picture Sadao met Hana in America. See although his father was so traditional but then also he for the Sadao's for this Sadao's education sake he had compromised to his all those values of patriotism and he has sent Sadao to America where Sadao met Hana and but Sadao Although he felt in love with Hana, he waited for his father's consent to marry her. Sadao and Hana finished their studies. They returned to Japan and their marriage was solemnized in the traditional Japanese way. They were a happy couple. Now this was the background of the story. Now we are getting into the story. This is how it begins. One night, Sadao and Hana were enjoying the view of the sea from their veranda when they saw something black coming out of the mists. The man was bleeding profusely. Dr. Sadao saw that a bullet wound had reopened. He packed the wound with sea moss. The man moaned with pain but did not awaken. He was torn between his moral duty as a doctor, which urged him to save the dying man, and his national duty, which required handing him over to the army as a patriot. This man, this picture in the, uh, this man in the picture, you can imagine as Sadao. 
Now, the, when Sadao and Hana, they decided to bring the American soldier to their house, the servants reacted bitterly. They tried to convince Dr. Sadao that he must hand over the enemy to the police. Now, these are the five very important things which we are going to discuss now. The American was very dirty and needed to be washed. Hana called Yumi, the maidservant, and told her to wash the white man. Yumi had never washed a white man and she refused to wash a dirty white man. Then Hana took up the work herself and she washed the white man. However, Hana did not like to touch and turn him over. Sadao did it and washed the white man. So these incidents you must keep in your mind because you get very often you get questions from these points. This picture you can imagine as Yumi. Now the next part of the story it goes like this. Sadao saves the enemy's life. Sadao was ready to operate. He told Hana to give anesthetic to the man. Hana had never seen an operation and started vomiting. She assisted Sadao in the operation. Sadao finally succeeded in talk taking the bullet out of the enemy's body and was sure that he would live in spite of his sufferings. Now this is this picture you can imagine as General Takima. General Takima who was a cruel man and used to beat his wife cruelly at home. He had bought many victorious battles in Manchuria. If a man could be so cruel to a woman in his power, would he not be cruel to his American prisoner? This is what comes to Hana's mind as well as the poet throws this, uh, sorry, the author throws this question to the readers. She hoped that this young man had not been tortured, but she observed deep red scars on his neck. Okay, children, you are listening to the explanations of Soma, ma'am. We are doing the lesson, the enemy, you are watching Matchless Mentor. Keep watching, keep studying. Now, the story goes like this. The servants decided to leave the house. One day in the morning, all the servants left together. Their belongings tied in large cotton kerchiefs. Hana paid them off and thanked them for all that they had done for her. Now the general's messenger visits Dr. Sadao. These are the what I have underlined and put in the cap capital letters. They are the main points. And in after that you get the details of that incident. In the afternoon, Hana saw a messenger in official uniform come to their door. Her hands went weak and she was unable to utter a word. She thought that the servants have already told. But the messenger informed them that the old general was in pain and Dr. Sadao was to come to the house of the general. Now, they informs him about the American prisoner of war in his house, who Dr. Sadao informs the general. Dr. Sadao goes to see the general as he was in pain. The general wanted him to combine German ruthlessness with American sentimentality. Then he could have turned the prisoner over to execution and would not have murdered him in his unconscious state. Now Dr. Sadao waited for him for three nights but every day he found the American prisoner alive in his house. Next, the Dr. Sadao cannot wait for another night more as he and Hana could not take the strain anymore. The general suggests that the prisoner should be quietly killed by his private assassins and he should leave the outer partitions of the room open. The assassins are capable. They know the tricks of inward bleeding. They make no noise while killing. They can even remove the body. Now the next part of the story, Dr. Sadao helps the American prisoner to escape. 
a boat was arranged with food and extra clothing, he should row to the island near the coast and wait for a Korean fishing boat. This instruction was given by Sadao to the prisoner. He gave him two quills, a flashlight and bottled water. Then Sadao before leaving, Sadao checked his temperature, state of wound and his hurt and pulse. Finally, he gave him Japanese clothes and wrapped a black cloth on his blonde head. Children, if you find this video helpful before the exam or any time when you go to read this story, please put the like, press the like button and uh, subscribe for Matchless Mentor. I am your Soma ma'am. Now this is the next part of the story. The general was in danger. Dr. Sadao successfully operates on the general. General admits that he had not sent the assassins as promised. He explains to Dr. Sadao that it was neither lack of patriotism nor dereliction of duty from his part, that is the general's part. Suddenly, Sadao realized that the general was in the palm of his hands and that he was perfectly safe. Now he wanted to reward Dr. Sadao for his devotion to duty and to save him if the matter came out. Now Dr. Sadao, so now that man, the prisoner had already left. Now Dr. Sadao researched for the black spot in the twilight night and already had his reward. So there was no trace of the prisoner. He had got his ship and he had left the island. No one was on the island and his prisoner was safely gone. He smiled. Okay, children, thank you for watching. Please keep supporting me so that I can make these type of videos. Till then, see you again. Bye.